<laughs> it's FA Cup third round. We've got Preston. Can we get to the fourth? Oh, please, we need the money. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with Bolton and yes it is FA Cup day today third round we're away to Preston and we're finally getting a little bit of form I say finally we've had two some very good results so if we just take you through them since our last episode where we beat Forest uh, we drew Preston nil nil nothing wrong with that away from home then we had a very very good victory against Millwall Again, away from home this time. Oliver Shenton scoring bucket loads recently. And Archer getting on the act as well with Eddie Brown also. Um, two forwards scoring. How odd is that? It's bad enough getting one scoring, but to get two, absolutely phenomenal. But 4-2 all the same. Middlesbrough, we had an even better result there. At home, Eddie Brown and Shenton scoring once again. Eddie Brown seems to find his shooting boots on finally. Well, we say finally. He's two and two games. It's only what Archer's been doing. So, But uh, then the last game we played away at Derby. They had a sending off after 33 minutes. We couldn't capitalise. Uh, it was a pretty dead boring game. So two draws against Derby. So we had one up there at 1-1. One, one, and then we had a 0-0 nil, nil there. But that does bring us nicely to Preston. And then Birmingham. We're going to try and beat Birmingham after they um, beat us last time. I think they did. Uh, yeah, they beat us 2-1. So a little bit of revenge. Preston on the other hand. I'm going to try and score a goal. Uh, we're away this time. So our away form isn't that bad. If you have a look here, a 2-0, a 4-2 and a 0-0. Not bad at all and a 0-0 there. So we're unbeaten away from home in about four games. Hopefully we're going to carry on. Oh, look, there's heavy snow expected in today's game. Oh, interesting. Uh, speaking of interesting, uh, the club finances, they've reduced the budget once again. Uh, seventy-three and a half thousand pound now, so we're going to have to unload a few players because we're, we're hemorrhaging money. They want us to drop a lot of players. I don't want to drop anybody. So at the moment we have got Crawford. Hopefully somebody will bite for him. That'll save us about three thousand eight hundred. Uh, who else was it? Brock Bank, another three thousand seven hundred. Two point six million. We're going to ask for three million for him. Hopefully uh, that will come great as well. Who was uh, there? Was uh, Connor Hall as well? I don't really want to let him go, but another two thousand pounds there, about three hundred thousand. If we can get that for him, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I don't think there's anybody else. I wanted to try and let go of Lee here because we're not going to use him. I'd rather have Bunny in there, but he's not really worth anything, and he's injured. Nobody's going to want him if they're injured, are they? Uh, who else? So we've got quite a lot of uh, on um, loan to us, but the main guys we want need to let go are these here, and. They're our best players. We can't let them go. This is the issue I have got. We can't afford to let them go. Very expensive. Either way, uh, Hara, he's on 3,800. And you know what? He's not really getting up to scratch at all, even though his stats say otherwise. Squad players still improve. He is our best goalkeeper. Failing to see it this season, it has, I must say. But uh, even so, uh, they are the three players that we're hoping to let go. So that could be a potential... 10 grand saving or something like that we need to lose about 20 i don't know where it else it's going to come from if we can do it but um back to the finances we're four nearly five million in the red it's not going away anytime soon but we have got a couple of games so really the run in the fa cup is what's needed so the first game then preston fa cup we are going to go boss man in goal. we got Laird, Vanderberg, Edwards and Esbrand. We're putting Edwards in there mainly because Brockbank, if we do get rid of him, we need to start life without him. Malay, Weir and Shenton in midfield. Politics and Lockett out on the wings with Brown playing up front. He's scored eight goals now, two assists. It's not bad going at all, is it? Uh, Archer should be on the bench. He is. Connor Hall shouldn't be because I'm hoping to let him go at some point. And uh, so who do I bring in? There's nobody really fit enough to come in there. Ogbeta, we might as well put you in there. The 4-3-3 formation, I guess you could call it that. Could we squeeze these in here? I'm not going to do it though. I'm tempted to put, push them inside and like a pyramid effect. But let's submit this team. And let's get on with the first game. Ian Edwards is lacking match fitness. We started off with a very, very good squad. And now we're having to lose them again. It is just a mockery of the whole situation. They're playing attacking midfielder. Hopefully we can um, stifle them out 
in midfield and I forgot to do the little bit of faith as well it seems to be working recently send the assistant uh, and let's play away at Preston everybody looks a little bit tired we are a little bit fitter than what they are though as they are on the ball playing the ball up over the top and we Edwards does do a great bit of covering there let's figure this pitch up a little bit boss man going to play out wide to S brand a little bit of room there lock it inside to where over the top where no he finds Molly Molly is he going to go for a shot he does have a shot gone wide we want you to put it in the in the goal or put it in the middle which would be nice a couple of the big guns are in the third round Man City are ahead Everton are ahead and Man City 2-1 now 3-1 now. Wow, games are going very, very quick and the goals are just flying in everywhere at this present moment. Laird with a free kick, passes it to politics and he just loses the ball and um, Emmanuel would do better in that. A good cover in there by, uh, was that Edwards again? Quite possibly and again we lose the ball. Maguire's in on goal and puts it wide. Right, that's a, that's a let off. It's not going well at all. I'm, I mean, we've had six shots though. So it can't be that bad. England, and we'll just have a look at some of the scores. Arsenal are nil-nil in that game. Uh, what else? Liverpool are one-nil up at Barnsley. Uh, any of the Man United one-nil up at Grimsby? Korea, the goal there. Notts County losing to Swansea. Uh, there we are. And anybody else? Probably nobody. West Ham are beating Scunthorpe. Right, a uh, bit of a morale boost. And uh, this is what we're going to say. Uh, still believe in you. You've got lots of uh, faith. I have a lot, lots of faith. I've just done it again. Just press the wrong button and just hope it doesn't uh, come back to bite me. Right. Get it a bit creative. We've done quite well in the last few games. Let's see if we can uh, capitalise in this one. Patrick Bauer, not Jack Bauer then. Lock it can come off. We're going to bring Will Buckley in. And do we go attack him? I think we may have to. Who's playing it's uh, James where he can come off and um, Darcy can go up there on support there we go see if that makes a blind bit of difference now we are playing the ball over the top so it doesn't make sense to have an attacking midfielder in there Arsenal will be held by Blackburn 10 minutes to go still nothing absolutely nothing it won't be so bad if we got it back to our ground Laird's looking absolutely battered he's injured if we can get to half t uh, full time here with a nil nil, I'll be uh, relatively happy. What a boring game. Nothing has happened at all. Wow. I didn't expect that. I don't know what to say. Laird will be picked up an injury. I'm hoping it's nothing too serious. I should have substituted him. We did have Emmanuel well on the bench. Uh, excellent efforts. A nil nil draw. Okay, we're back at home. It shouldn't be too far away. McGrill discusses loan dealings. You've reported expressed interest in Darcy you're not having him Bolton held to a draw after a good run as well we're still unbeaten in five away games though that's nice send the assistant Crawford wants to discuss personal matters I uh, want to know why you are touting services to other clubs well because we can't afford to keep you that's why uh, I can't find a place you might uh, I have so many options your, your wage is too high I'm on a perfectly regional wage here I certainly understand you're disgruntled, but my management, you're going to have to accept it. It's not good enough. Okay, it could escalate quickly, but you could also be out on your ear very quickly as well. I am very sorry, but money is needed at the club. We can't function. You're 30 years old. You do, you are playing well, I'm not going to lie. But uh, someone's come in for him already. 220000 He's worth it. They know we want the money. Motherwell can um, go. His preferred destination would be Motherwell. He's worth 850,000, but it does 300,000. It's going to come to so well below the asking price. Uh, reject the offer. It was far too low. I'm sorry, that's way too low. You can try again, Motherwell. You can come back and try again. We have got the FA Cup fourth round just coming up as well, so we're going to have a quick uh, look at the draw as well. Uh, if we beat Preston, we play Liverpool, so that's going to be a potential big money spinner. So the onus is on us now to beat Preston. Beat Preston, we play Liverpool. Probably go out, but it doesn't really matter. What do the club vision say on the FA Cup? They want us to be competitive. They're pleased so far. We've only played the one game. So if we go out, is that enough? 
They're very pleased in the championship so far, but we're struggling with the wage budget. I'm not surprised because you just cut it down again. On to the Birmingham game, which is just around the corner. Let's uh, just quickly whiz across there. Right, just a few days later, and we are at the University of Bolton once again. Birmingham, we want revenge. Will they give us revenge? I'm damn well hoping so. They're going to flat 4-4-2, but we're going to have Bossman in goal. Emmanuel comes in the right back. Vandenberg, Brockbank and uh, Esbrand. We've got Shenton, Weir and Marley. Familiar faces in the middle. Shenton is our star man at the moment. Two goals, four assists. Mella on the right. Buckley on the left. We're going to have something different than Lockett and um, Politics. And then we're going to have Archer up front. So hopefully he can create something up there. We're going to smash the ball over the top and he's going to run onto it and score a couple of goals. That is the idea. Over to the assistant. He's not really done an awful lot, has he? So I believe in you. You've got what it takes. And this is what we are after. Right, okay, look, everybody's happy. That's very nice indeed. Birmingham are lying in sixth position. Then They're going great guns at the moment. Um, to be honest, we're not doing too bad ourselves. We're on 36 points. As a, uh, he's got the ball. Did Bossman collect it? I can't see the ball. Where is it? We're playing with an orange ball, really. They are expected snow today, from what I heard. So with any, oh wow, Archer, that's just uh, dreadful. I'm just wondering whether Brown would have done a lot better than that. Hopefully, he's going to prove me wrong and score the next one, next effort. Morley on the ball plays it out wide to Manuel. Manuel cuts in. Back to Morley, and they smash it away up front. And uh, Batch is just, man, he's just laced our guys there, isn't it? It's a good save by our goalkeeper. And uh, that, that's what we have to uh, be careful of is the break. And I wonder if that's what they do are playing. We do header it away. We're not great on corners. We should intercept that. Well done, Buckley. But uh, to no avail, though, I'm going to say get creative as well. F uh, throwing on the far side. We'll have to do is Bellingham. That's one of the targets for United at the moment. It's headed down to Bossman, so that's well done. And Archer, he's got a little bit of speed, so can you use it? I guess not. Bellingham, I wonder how old he is. He must be in his 20s now, I get. Oh, for going to say it's offside. Phew, thank God for that. I thought he was just going to blatantly put it in the back of the net. That's something we didn't want to see. Free kick, Vanderberg with an orange ball. I've never played with an orange ball before. They are looking at snow showers. Archer in on goal. We're going to have to take him off. He's useless. Maybe we should be. Maybe we're getting rid of the wrong forward. Birmingham once again. Skip past two of our defenders. There. He's got three on him and still gets the ball past them both. But don't knock him over. And that's a very, very good stop across the face of the goal. 35 minutes gone. We're looking um, rather uh, scared at the back. Archer, can you skip past? Oh, he does skip past this man. Well done. But he's got no... He's got excellent pace and stamina and everything else and acceleration. Why can't he not get away? To half time, it's nil-nil. Not ideal. And again, we're failing to score at home. And I can remember doing this in the first season when we were with Bolton. And it looks like it's like first season nerves in a new division. That's what it is. Right, uh, tell the team, right, I'm going to do this again. I believe in you. You've got what it takes. Can you please? Um, I'm impressed with your efforts up front. He looks switched off. If he's going to carry on, I'm going to bring Brown on. And if he's going to continue missing chances, he's going to come off a lot earlier as well. So we get to about 65 minutes and we're going to change it for Brown. And he can uh, play up there instead. As we do have the ball with Weir. Weir's coming forward. There's nobody running for him. So he has a go himself. There's nobody in the middle. Right, Archer, you're coming off. Brown is coming on. Mella, you've just been non-existent. You really have. I want to bring Lockett in. I'm going to leave that as it is. Morley comes away into the middle. Brown. And that's why we bring him on. His ninth goal of the season. He's, we're leaving the formation as it is. We're not changing it at all. But Brown, what a star. What a player. What an impact. And Archer. That's bad play by there. Keita um, messes it up though. A good ball into Brown who just slots it in past the goalkeeper. He's just kneeling down thinking, what on earth has happened here? We've had all the possession, all the ball, and uh, we find ourselves down. I don't really care where you find yourselves at the moment. We are winning. And uh, we're up to 8th position, guys. Unless we concede stupid goal here. 
No, straight into the arms of the goalkeeper once again, who positions himself. Lovely kick. What a what a strike that is upfield. At least he gets the ball away from the goal, and we do win it back over the top. Weighs on it this time. Round the goalkeeper, and bang. It's 2-0. All of a sudden, we've come from not creating anything to taking advantage. A mix-up at the back once again. They're not playing very well. Politics with a beautiful interception there. We're on it, though. Brown should have been on it instead. Goes around the goalkeeper and slams it into the net. It looked like he was chipping somebody. Thankfully, it went underneath the bar. We're going to not make any more ch changes now. There's no point. And uh, while we're on fire, can we get a third? That would be really amazing as well. Emmanuel into Shenton. Shenton's been rather quiet this game, but it doesn't really matter as we give it away. And can we keep a clean sheet, clean sheet for the episode? I think we can. Ball over the top. Not really caught them out there, did we? Jo Is that Joel Pereira? He's playing for Birmingham. Good interception and covering by Vanderberg. And politics doesn't quite run off with it. He should have just slotted it up front, really. Shunti Akita skips past our man. Let's keep a clean sheet. Back post. Oh! In the dying seconds of the game, Odin Bailey, first goal of the season as well. And we just messed up. We just could not get the ball away. But thankfully, this time, the 2 1 result is going to go the other way. Bossman's not really. Um, Liam, what are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Why are you on the floor? And there we have it, the reverse of the last fixture. Bolton 2, Birmingham 1. We are, well, we're on a little bit of a roll, I think. Excellent effort, guys. Um, leaving that as it is. Fantastic. Right, if only we can do that with the next uh, few games as well. We've got Redden away from home. But that does leave us in, in eighth position. 11 wins now, 10 losses, 5 draws. Goal difference is plus four. Granted, it's not the best, but we are on 38 points with four points off playoff. Dare we dream? It's too early. It is too early. To, we'll only get relegated from the Premiership. It's too early to even think about that. Our finances are not great at all. Do we get any money there? It did come down a little bit, I guess. But uh, yeah, all the same, though. Eighth position. It's looking good for us, 2-1. We, we can hold our own in this division, that's for sure. Maybe we're going to have to alternate between the two formations, I think. Right, OK, so let's see what the social feed uh, There's a 3-1 win for Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Anybody interested? Uh, there's offers in for Ghana. He's found out 13 million. His uh, contract isn't up yet. We are looking at a couple of Man United players in our shortlist. Uh, let's have a quick look. There's uh, Ramazani, Divine, Divine, or Divine, and then Wright Phillips. We're not sure who is best. Uh, Ramazani is the best out of the three. But this guy here, this is the one I was hoping to get. If we got into the Premiership, we had loads of money and we could spend it. This is the guy I would want to have. Except look at these stats. 33 goals in 76. He's an absolute star for West Brom. But uh, Ramazani, a right winger. Beautiful stats there. That's what you want. Um, not bad crossings. Good dribbling as well. Great little addition there. A left back. Not so bad if we lose our uh, on loan players. And that will probably be a way to go. £700 a week. And that's not too bad as well. But again, six months left on his contract. And right Phillips as well. Another right winger. Is he any better than um, Mella that we've got at the minute? Uh, right Phillips just seems to have that little bit more mentors and uh, Mello is just a little bit quicker. But apart from that, age 20, 21, one and a half, one and a half. It's not really much difference. But Right Phillips does have the uh, thingy over him. So there are three players we are keeping a close eye on though. Just in case nobody picks them up and they don't renew their contracts. And we can just nick them. Praise Ware's performance. We will do that, obviously. And um, what's that? Bolton make it six games unbeaten. The replay coming up. We w hopefully would expect to win that one. Sheffield United and Cardiff look like the teams that we're going to, we may come back to, I think. So I think we'll play a few more games. Cardiff will come back to the line in 15th and it's a toss up between Sheffield United or Aston Villa. Aston Villa I would like to come back to and beat. But Sheffield United... If we're up and running near the top, it's that one we're going to come back to. If not, uh, we'll play Aston Villa. 
but Cardiff in between time. So hopefully we should be at least a win in that part at least anyway. So if you enjoyed that, please pop a like on there. If you'd like to see more on YouTube channel, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.